What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about everything that is new in 2020.12. Uh, and as you know, in the title, there are some glitches or some bugs with the full self-driving visualization preview. Uh, so with that said, let's go to release notes and let's look at this first. And I'm struggling here. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I cover every single uh, Tesla release and I always try to cover what is new. So we have driving visualization improvements. So uh, the version I'm running, which is 0.12 here, uh, the one before it was 0.8, and that one got pulled off. It's no longer like in, in uh, circulation for updates. It was very buggy, and they went down to 0.4. Uh, 0.8 is when uh, Canadians received the full self-driving visualization preview. So that's where we got to see like stop uh, stop signs and streetlights and so on and so forth. So this whole entire thing is totally brand new for us. Uh, but I definitely want to show you some of the glitches that it has. Uh, so let me do that first, and then I'll come back and talk about uh, the other things. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, this glitch I got when I was driving. Uh, you can see here, I'll have a picture up on the screen. I got it to replicate a couple of times, and I noticed that the speed that would show uh, on the car, which would be normally over here, uh, was duplicated. Uh, and it wasn't. it didn't happen just once, it happened multiple times, and I managed to get a picture the second time around. And it was only going around or by speed-related signs. So I'm not sure if the software is trying to read speed signs and it's picking them up. And it's like overlapping it twice. Or uh, the software is just glitching out. I am not sure myself. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think Tesla's in the works of having the car read the speed sign, and that's why I managed to have it come up twice? Or do you think it was just the software just totally glitching out and it duplicated? But it is strange, it only happened with speed signs and I can replicate it uh, when I'm driving by uh, posted signs with speed. So I thought I'd start off with that one, that's a big one. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, the next one is uh, obviously driving visualization. So you can enable it now if you're in Canada, which was never possible before. Uh, so I'm going to show you something. So let's toggle X out of here and out of here. And uh, so I'm in a parking lot and hopefully it does it again. Uh, so you guys get the experience that I got a couple of days ago or yesterday, I guess it was. Uh, time flies when you have a Tesla. So. All right, so there you go. You can see it went from a garbage to a stoplight to uh, a pylon or some combination like that. It was flickering through. Uh, I'll probably blow up that section of the clip and replay it and like go slow just so you guys can see it. Uh, but it is the, the pole that's there. So it renders the pole differently uh, and I'm like stopped completely and it just like renders it uh, really strangely I gotta say but I mean all in all it is still such a cool feature being able to see stuff rendered here It does work pretty well. I was playing around with uh, different things. I'll have a video more in depth about uh, what this is capable of uh, Soon uh, in the next few weeks. So anyway, I just want to point that out uh, so, yeah, the lot's empty. Let's just leave my car here. Uh, let's look at the last two release notes. Overtake the phone call. This, and you can see the garbage here in the meantime. It, it was flickering with a pylon. All right, I'll throw this one in there too. Pylon, pull. It's the same style of pull that I was picking up as a garbage before. So, uh, depending on where you're sitting in relative to the pole it picks it up differently so it can be a garbage a stop sign a pole it picks it up totally different and totally random so bluetooth improvements i'm walking back to my car uh and i'm on the phone if i open up my passenger door and i put something inside uh and i'm have to like walk around to my driver's side i still want to be on my physical phone i don't want to have to jump inside my car uh the bluetooth improvement basically allows you to put stuff in your car and it'll only trigger, it only jump to your car uh, when you're actually sitting in the driver's seat. So uh, this is actually something I experience each and every day and I'm kind of glad that this was fixed. This is a big one, such a small little fine uh, improvement, uh, refinement to the software, but it's a big one. Uh, improved voice command reliability, they say now you just have to click it in once. Uh, 
I thought that's what it always was. So anyway, uh, then we have additional language support. So there's more languages. Uh, and it says this release contains minor improvements and bug fixes. I think the minor improvements and bug fixes is the improvements that they made in order for them to release this. And the reason why they stopped releasing the 0.8 version that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So, uh, yeah, just a quick little update video. A uh, little bit of a glitch happening uh, here with our streetlight uh, garbage can stop sign, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but nonetheless, it does work. It, uh, it does work pretty well, all in all, uh, especially considering it is an early beta. There it is. You see that? A pylon, a garbage. Uh, it was two garbages. It's still two garbages. And it's just a little bit confused just a tad so uh if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below do subscribe for more tesla content leave a comment i definitely want to know what you think uh about the uh double speed sign glitch that i had and uh do subscribe for more tesla content most importantly thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time